what makes a great email? I consider this a four-step process. Number one, we want to think about who is this to? You do not need to email every single person in your database the same content. You can segment your database based on who you serve um, and who your audience is made up of, and you can deliver content specific to that audience. What is the result or goal I'm looking for? Am I looking for them to schedule a call with me on my calendar for a consultation? Am I looking for them to download a specific lead magnet or resource or tell me what their search criteria is or get a home value? Or sometimes I just love getting a reply. Like some of my, my emails are simply about encouraging a response. You know why? That's engagement. And that tells me people are reading and caring about what I have to say and they want to connect with me. So I want to know who those people are so that I can make sure to be intentional about building a real relationship with them. Then step three, you want to think about, okay, we know our, who this is to, what the goal is, but what is their pain point? What is a problem I could solve? Or what's a piece of value I could share that's specific to them? And then step four is how can I solve this problem or share this value by standing out? The whole purpose of this is that you stand out. Every single real estate agent, I won't say every single, most real estate agents that people encounter are giving the same boring messages. Here's the just solds. Here's the just listings. Uh, Any time is a great time to buy. That is so annoying, right? People want to work with someone who is relatable. They're approachable. They're savvy. They're out of the box. They're creative. Um, they're transparent. So the way that you do this is not by always telling people it's a great time to buy. You want to think like, what are some unpopular opinions? What are some behind the scenes? Like how do I, especially with these commission conversations happening, how do I demonstrate the value that I share? Uh, maybe that's every single little step I take before I actually get to a showing to show one house. What are all those things? And how am I advocating for my clients? Um, sharing the inside scoop, things that people people may not be so willing to openly talk about in this industry. People really connect with and appreciate that. And it positions you as the expert and somebody who they can trust. So email gives you that opportunity to do that. Oh, 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 oh,